Welcome back. It's a new era for the city of Houston. As we all know, John Whitmire has hit the ground running as the city's newest mayor. Changes are expected in this new chapter. My next guest shares some predictions and insight. And joining us on the Factor Uncensored tonight is one of my favorite co-workers for the last 20 plus years, Greg Grugan, who's a political reporter up at Fox 26, and he's also the host of What's Your Point? Glad to see you, Greg. You know, you have your hands full now. You have a new administration in the city of Houston to deal with. State Senator John Whitmire is now Mayor John Whitmire. So what can we expect from his administration? Absolutely. You know, John Whitmire ran as an agent of change. And so Isaiah, he's going to have to deliver some type of change. He talked about uh, for much of his campaign about public safety and cracking down on criminals without uh, throwing away the folks who can be salvaged. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's going to be a center point, at least in this first year. You know, we learned today that he has dropped the lawsuits that have been uh, a regular part of our newscasts for the last seven years, uh, pitting the city and its firefighters. Those are gone. And he's willing to talk to the firefighters about getting them seven years of back pay and benefits or a settlement to cover that time period. That is a big number, my friend, but one that we knew was coming. It was sort of a balloon note that the uh, Turner administration left for John Whitmire. Is that something that we can afford to pay? Obviously not at one time, Greg. So where do we get the money to pay this bill to the firefighters, that back pay? Well, fortunately, Whitmire has a lot of goodwill with the firefighters. He's been supporting them not for just one or two decades, but for the entirety of his half uh, half century at the state legislature. I think he'll be able to work a solid deal. It may not be everything that the firefighters want, but uh, they've been waiting a long time. And they're looking forward to uh, raises in the future as well. And so they may be willing to take less than what they're fully entitled to in order to uh, move on down the road and to get a good payday for the years they've gone without uh, those scheduled uh, pay raises that they believe they were entitled to. Now, let's move on to other administration, or at least other departments in the city of Houston, where the administration, Whitmire's administration, uh, will have to decide if these department heads, like the police chief, like the fire department, like uh, Parks Department, uh, will they stay? What is he saying about those positions? Do they have to resign and then reapply, or what? My understanding is that all of them have to uh, offer letters of resignation, and the new mayor will decide whether to offer them uh, an opportunity with his administration. I think we have seen clearly that Police Chief Troy Finner is going to be part of this administration. Very popular, uh, and, and, and a guy that Whitmire is clearly uh, demonstrating some confidence in. I do believe that Sam Pena, the fire chief, will not be with this administration. His, his hours may be numbered. Uh, we are just going to have to wait and see. An interesting uh, bit of intel I picked up, uh, city attorney Arturo uh, Michel will be staying on. And the suggestion there is Arturo knows we're all the bones are buried. All the skeletons are. Arturo's on. been there forever, Greg. Forever. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think he'll pick and choose. It's it's good to have institutional knowledge. And look, you know, uh, there's an old term. Uh, the king is dead. Long live the king. John Whitmire's the new king. And there, whoever stays will be beholden to him for their job. All right, Greg Grugan, always good to see you and glad to talk to you. And we will follow you through your coverage of the Whitmire administration. And we thank you for your time on The Factor Uncensored, sir. You know, Isaiah, I'm always willing to come on, my friend. All right, always glad to have you.